Hey everybody, this is Thunder or Wakia in Lakota. I'm going to speak as the uh, chief elder for the Campfire Council here for a minute, uh, the creator of the Campfire Council, and tell you a little bit about the activities that I have planned, uh, not only for my videos that many of you watch, but also for the Campfire Council in general. And just some of the things that I'm going to be doing uh, in the future here. At least that's my plan at the moment. I would like to do a, a few more videos on, a uh, few more than I have been doing, on spiritual matters, uh, indigenous people, uh, indigenous tribes, tribal living, uh, meditation, yoga, spiritual practices in general, spiritual ritual. Uh, also, I am going to be uh, commenting briefly from time to time on world affairs because people have said, well, we miss it when you don't comment on world affairs. But I will be doing that in a completely different manner than getting involved in uh, any kind of fear regarding it. Most of my stuff will be on how to handle living in the tumultuous times that we live in from the perspective of a person that is a free spirit, wants to be a free spirit, wants to be free of uh, some of the negative energy that surrounds us. One of the ways that you can uh, seek uh, people of uh, kindred beliefs or maybe that uh, are Believing as you would like to believe or how you believe, uh, particularly if you're a free spirit or you're into indigenous thought or into uh, living off the land, into Mother Earth, Grandfather Sky. The Campfire Council is a community of about 90 people at present time which you can access via, uh, via the uh, Google Communities uh, aspect of the internet. The links are below in the show notes. Uh, I've put links down there for everything and uh, a way to co uh, communicate and contact me personally. I'm going to be doing more one-on-one uh, -on -one type things with people. I used to do one-on-one -on -one counseling. So I'm going to open up myself to do uh, some more counseling. I call it counseling. Uh, sometimes I have visions. Sometimes I can see things. If you're interested in talking to me, I've put uh, information below in the show notes regarding emails and phone numbers, that type of thing. If you do call, leave a message because I never answer the phone unless I know who it is. Um, or if you feel more comfortable uh, sending me an email, that's fine too. I will be doing uh, what I call readings, um, and that's done just off the top of my head, off uh, the connection that I get with your energy. And a reading could be uh, a combination of uh, counseling and uh, suggesting things that you might want to do in the future, uh, giving you information uh, about spiritual activities or spiritual practices, answering some questions. You might have personal questions. So I'll be doing that again. And again, 
the information is below. The other thing that I'm going to be doing is probably I'm going to be doing interviews with uh, different people on my uh, video format here. I'm going to see about what I can get into with new kinds of technology and maybe having a split screen or uh, maybe just talking to somebody on the phone so you can hear them and interviewing different uh, people of indigenous backgrounds and experience. So these are some of the things that are coming up, people. So those who have subscribed, uh, these are the things that are in store that are coming up. So it'll be a combination of spirituality, uh, spiritual practices, teaching them, reviewing them, uh, a little bit of uh, world affairs, commentary on that. And I encourage you to join the Campfire Council. There is no charge to do that. And that link is below. You'll see where it says uh, Campfire Communities on Google. And then there's another site, which is uh, just the website for the Campfire Council. And then also I have included another site called Spirit of Crazy Horse, which is my own personal site. And I will be doing uh, some things like uh, I do have, I am an award-winning author and I have three books out and I am working on another book. So I will be doing book signings and selling my books. Uh, also, I have a couple of Native American flute CDs. I have uh, I have uh, a few things on there that might be of interest to you on the uh, spiritofcrazyhorse.com. That's all one word, Spirit of Crazy Horse, and then .com site. And also on there is a site to, or a button for donations. Uh, we are a legitimate organization, uh, a 5013C. And we are incorporated in the state of Nevada. And uh, to keep this ball rolling here, I would encourage people that are interested, uh, if they can, uh, to donate in any amount that you see fit. There is a button that says donate on the spiritofcrazyhorse.com. So I encourage not only members of the Campfire Council to donate to the council and to its founder, myself, to keep things rolling here, to keep activities going, to help me to be able to perpetuate it. Um, so the members of the council, I encourage to do that. And also anybody out there that uh, feels like anything that I'm saying is uh, worth maybe a small donation, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, I think about I'm about covering it all here. Uh, I'd like to talk to the people of the Campfire Council in particular at this point and uh, encourage them, the members on there, to do a little bit more posting than you have been. Uh, there are some people that just join the council and don't participate. Or they have participated and they've backed off because of, uh, oh, maybe a lot of things. Maybe uh, maybe it's just life and the, uh, the way that you can get caught up in life with things that you think are important. But let's remember the main important thing is to perpetuate a sense of spirituality, a sense of uh, free spirit uh, status, a sense of uh, supporting an organization that uh, has precepts 
which encompass all kinds of things like survival and uh, camping and uh, camaraderie uh, with a tribal type of uh, atmosphere, shall we say? Adhering to traditional values uh, from tribal organizations or from different tribes, uh, learning all about different kinds of tribes uh, and, and indigenous people and their ritual. Uh, and when I say tribes, I don't just mean Native American tribes, I even mean the tribal people of the earth and the different cultures and the different philosophies and the different precepts and the different uh, teachings. Everything from Tai Chi to yoga to Kriya Yoga to Tantra Yoga to uh, the asanas to uh, martial arts to uh, firearms, uh, self-protection, self-survival, survive, uh, protection of your family, spiritual values, all the same things that you would find in some type of tribal community. A sense of freedom, a sense of being able to speak about anything from A to Z, relationships, love, eroticism, uh, camping out, uh, we cover it all, flying, uh, personally I'm a pilot so I'm into flying, uh, different philosophies, uh, just a fun time, humorous postings. Now, people in the Campfire Council, you need to realize that if you want to post, uh, you can post anything. You can post a picture of uh, where you live or uh, the street that you live on or the neighborhood or the, the little forest uh, around where you live or some kind of beautiful uh, scenic shot or a picture of yourself or picture of something you're interested in or a posting about hobbies, a posting about your work, uh, especially if it's creative. Um, there's a million things that uh, you could share with your fellow Campfire Council members. Spiritual thoughts, uh, just uh, humorous uh, photos, whatever just so that we create a sense of all being together and a sense of all uh, having a connection as a family and sharing uh, the energy. Recently I had a few people come and visit me from the Campfire Council and it made me realize that all members should be uh, interested in getting together on a physical level. So what we need to do is we need to generate interest and we need to generate a way of uh, making some uh, income, bringing, bringing some income in and even you know donating to the council to perpetuate that. We could have drives, we could sell t-shirts, uh, we could have meetings, uh, we could have ways of raising money. And this has been done to some extent in the past, but I think that we really need to uh, concentrate on ramping this up, okay? Because what is better than friends and uh, family and uh, a sense of community away from the humdrum hang-ups and uh, negative uh, fear porn of the world? The community is what is family. The community is where uh, healings can take place, energy exchanges prayer circles, um, friendship, 
and all of the abo above good things. So I think that uh, basically I've stated what I intend to do. Uh, I intend to try to uh, increase the visibility of the Campfire Council and increase uh, my communications with people and um, uh, the, the fact that uh, also I'm going to be uh, trying to republish some of my books. Some are already uh, in publication, but I'm going to the ones that have uh, expired on the publication thing. I plan on uh, getting a new publishing house or uh, publishing them myself. Again, I am an award-winning author. And there is some information that has been very beneficial to people that have read uh, some of my books because my teachings are in there. And those teachings ra range from uh, A to Z. I have a whole archive of videos that I've done on this channel where you can go back and uh, glean all kinds of information uh, from different periods of time in my life uh, when I've done videos after video after video on everything from uh, the indigenous people and tribes and meditations and um, all the stuff that I'm into. So personally I have practiced Kriya Yoga since 86 which is an esoteric form of meditation which uh, channels energy and moves energy around kundalini yoga uh, three kinds of martial arts that I teach and the philosophies behind them uh, I have studied extensively uh, the Apache people, the Lakota people, the Hopi people, besides my own tribal traditions. And I uh, plan, like I said before, on uh, having guests or uh, people that I interview that have experienced uh, tradition and ritual and uh, are a representative of their uh concept or way of thinking or others uh, tribal concepts uh, and ways of thinking that are going to be beneficial to us all so I'm kind of excited about moving ahead with this and I'm not going to like charge right into it I'm just going to kind of approach this on a subtle level so anyway keep in mind the things that um, I have said today and hopefully uh, we'll just have a whole lot of fun together and it will be a very good learning and healing experience so that's all I have to say for now this is Thunder from the Campfire Council over and out